Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about just-in-time access. Uh, this is a feature of Azure Active Directory that allow a user to request a temporary access to specific resource roles or the permission in your organization Azure Active Directory environment. Uh, just-in-time access help to improve security by reducing the risk of unauthorized access and limit exposure to sensitive resource just-in-time access works in Azure Active Directory. So basically, uh, it's a very simple process. If, you, if any user in your organization need an admin role once in a week or once in a month or uh, once in a day, so we don't want to give them a full role access, like a full, uh, for example, a global admin all the time, right? All the month, throughout the month, we don't want to give that access because he need once in a month or once in a week. So what we can do, we can use this uh, method just in time access, wherever the user is required, then we can, or he, like uh, that user particularly, he can elevate his uh, permission to the that role a global admin role and he can do their task and uh, uh, that role will automatically removed from his uh, account so this is this is the main uh, feature of uh, just in time access this role comes with the azure active directory p2 license so any user is using this feature he need to have a uh, azure active directory p2 license so i'll show you how you can do that how you can perform this so you need to come on this Azure Active Directory. This is the Azure Active Directory portal. And uh, when you go down, there is a privilege identity management that is PIM. And when you go here, you will see that is my role is global administrator. Now, this is my, I logged in this uh, portal with uh, my global administrator. Now I want to give access to one of my user uh, to do uh, admin activity. Actually, I don't want a user have that role all the time so i'll i want to give that permission temporarily so what i can do i can come here in azure ad role and there is a assign eligibility uh, when i come here you will see that there is a lot of roles are here that this role also applicable with the azure uh, portal where you can uh, give the permission or uh, make a uh, permit or you can give the permission to the resource based also so now in this case i'm just uh, for for example uh, or scope of this video i'll just give the global administrator uh, permission to one of uh, my user company user so what i'll do i can go here uh, i open the global administrator role and then i'm clicking on this add assignment okay so i am here i'm selecting one of my user uh, alex and i'm clicking here alex and i just I'll click next i want to eligible for a lifetime like it's a when you eligible it's it's basically he he eligible for that role for one year but he, this role is not active as of now okay we are just giving that okay alex is eligible for this role but he need to activate that role but i'll show you that in next part i will show you how you can or how alex going to activate this role so i'm just making him eligible for this role click next assign and this role will assign to the Alex. So let me open the Alex uh, page. Uh, let me show you the Alex, how Alex is going to see this. So I'm logged in with the Alex. So now I'm logged in with the Alex and you see this is, uh, Alex don't have any admin privilege right now. If you even Alex want to open admin.microsoft.com, uh, you will see that he don't have any access to this. So now what, how he can elevate his permission. Now he need to go on the portal that is your dot com. Now, okay. Now he is in the Azure portal. Now he need to come on the PIM, Privilege Identity Management. Now, when you see my role, now he, you can see he's eligible for the Global Administrator, but this role is not active. Uh, there is no assignment as of now. So what he can do is straight away, he can just go for the active and he can mention that, okay, I need this role for a specific hour or specific time window. And uh, he can just, okay, 
and see now this a pop up is coming okay so alex might need a uh, mfa need to be set up properly so he will check the mfa and as i already set up the mfa let me approve this mfa for him i approved his mfa now validation is verified and now he can make like how many hours he need to have this access i let me take this one hour okay i need access alex need access to i or alex need access for one hour and i'll just put the reason for uh, testing and activate so now it will check the process and the validate activation completed so activation completed it's active assignment active assignment see this is uh, end time and the uh, global administrator is activated so now when you see when you refresh this admin.microsoft.com still you will see this is uh, not active right this role is not active so what he can do he can just log off from this portal basically because that authorization token got uh, changed right so that uh, you need to refresh that token again so he will he need to log in back again with uh, his user id sign in, sign in back yes now let's try to open admin.microsoft.com and you can see this his role is activated now he has a full administrator privilege uh, on here he can open the azure active directory from here he can because he has uh, all role global administrator and you can clearly see now alex is a global administrator and uh, when you go yeah so this is the way is basically just in time access happen now alex will have uh, this role associated with his user account for next one hour so he can do his work uh, as a global administrator change whatever he want and then uh, automatically this global administrator role will remove from his account uh, after one hour so this is the feature of uh, just in time access this feature comes with as your active directory p2 is very good uh, you should uh, use it uh, in in your environment if uh, your environment uh, allow you or you if your environment has a as your ad p2 license okay so overall just in time access provide a extra layer of security for uh, as your environment uh, by limiting access to sensitive resource and uh, enforcing access policies it also helps you to reduce the risks of data breach and unauthorized access by ensuring that user only have access to the resources they need for the duration that they need it so yeah this is a small demo of uh, just in time access if you love it please uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye.